Okay, hey guys, how y'all doing? Yes, I'm back with another one. Yes, and this is a very important topic I'm about to discuss while I do my makeup. Yes, because um, I was having a conversation with with someone and um, and we was talking. They were saying how you know some people are having like um, it's it, all right. So let me tell you this. It's about like tribes and things like that. Like I, you know, I I never really thought about it. Um, you know, I hear I always hear people talking about yeah, um, yeah. Shout out to my tribe and this, this and that, and whatever. And I I just thought you know maybe they were just saying like they family. Or something like that, right? But it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than that, yes. And I want to discuss that with y'all today while I do my makeup because I never really knew how deep um it was until, you know, I was having this conversation with someone and they was telling me how, okay, that, you know, some people have some certain ailments and, like, certain things that's going on with their body because of their gene. Yes, because their gene makeup and their DNA. And so I was saying to myself, like, well, well, why, why, well, why is it like that? And they were saying, because I don't know how true this is, but it had me thinking, they saying how maybe because the, the two people who got together to have this child maybe shouldn't have had their baby because their genes or their DNA or their, um, their makeup or just who they are, it's just two different types of, um, humans or you know species or something like that and when they come together and they make a child the child has different kinds of um medical problems because of their differences because of the two genes and and i was thinking back when um a long time ago they used to before people got married they would give them blood tests and i ain't never know what the blood test was for but i used to always hear yeah they went and got their blood test and this is the next way they get married and i used to be like well why they do that and it's because of, I guess, because it is that same reason. They don't want, um, I guess, two people of two different gene pools or DNAs cannot come together and, and as a union have children or that baby will, will suffer different kinds of ailments. Yes, yes. Hello, kitty. All right. So, um... So, yeah, so I was also thinking, like, I was saying to myself, well... Maybe that's the reason why, um, you know, some people have, you know, have thought about, okay, yeah, guys, sorry about that, yeah, but, um, yeah, and I was thinking to myself, I said, well, you know, how would you know what exactly, what tribe you are from, you know, um, you know, some people may have this information and some people don't, like, I never thought about um that I was like with a certain tribe. I always said family or something like that. I'm from a certain family. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it goes deep. It's like some people are actually from a certain tribe and that's how they separate us with our DNA, our genes and things like that. Yes. And you know somebody like in your family could be in your family but be of another tribe. Be a member of from another tribe. Because you know that's how people, you know, like when two unions, the two people get together and make a union, they could be from two different tribes. Now let me ask you this: Is these two di like say if these people are from two different tribes, but they had the same kind of gene or DNA? Now they could probably get together and make a baby, and, and nothing would be wrong with that baby. But I'm thinking, you know how they say like some people in certain families they they like keep it in the family because they know the gene pool is um pure i guess and and they are compatible like two cousins like i remember when i met um my children's father what well, a guy that i had married and he was telling me how normally they would um like marry like a cousin or something like that like a distant cousin or something like that and and and, and procreate from that you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking maybe it's because they're from like the same tribe, the same gene pool. Well, not gene pool, but they have something like the same DNA where their children will come out and be fine and maybe like um like just just like superior, not really superior, maybe, but have a um a good gene connection where they are like really good human beings and strong and healthy and things like that. And then maybe it's like a um also a maybe a 
a tribe, if they two these two different like tribes get together and they probably have a child that's deficient some some kind of way. It was kind of deep because I started thinking about it like, hmm, could that could it be some truth in that? Because I remember years ago. <laughs> I was dating this guy, and my dad told this guy, look, she ain't for you, you know what I'm saying? And he told me, stay with your own kind, but I didn't know what he was talking about when he said that. I thought he was my kind, you know? I mean, we was pretty much like the same complexion. We had like almost like the same hair type, maybe. And, um, you know, but then they was like, no, that's not your kind. You know, maybe he wasn't your kind. And that's why your, your, my father was saying that, you know? But yeah, they had me thinking about tribes and things like that. And like, if I belong to a tribe, why haven't they like came to me and saying, you know, yeah, we, this is your tribe? Or maybe they did and I just didn't take heed or couldn't recognize it at the time. I don't know. But yeah, I'm like curious now. Like, I see like people breaking off into their tribes and I'm hearing more and more about like, yeah, my tribe, learn, know who your tribe is. I've been seeing it on YouTube too. Where, where's your, um, your tribal wearing and customs and things like that. And I'm like, hmm, I'm curious now. Like, well, what tribe do I belong to? Where, where is my tribe? You know, because they breaking off now into tribes, they saying, and like buying land and things like that and coming together, growing food and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, well, I don't want to be left out of this thing. Well, what's going on? Well, why my tribe ain't come get me? I'm awesome. I can grow. I got a green thumb. I bring things back to life. I'm saying, if you think a plant is gone, no. I bring you right back. Like, yes, I can grow. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole jungle in my backyard right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just trying to figure like, well, what's going on with my tribe? Where they at? Can I find them? Can I hook up with them? Can we talk? Let me know my culture. You know, everybody got these cultures and they tribes, and I see them going around and being together and things like that. You know, I see them on, on social media coming together, building, buying land and doing things. You know what I'm saying? Gentrifying neighborhoods and stuff like that. And, am I one of y'all? Hmm. Makes me think, like, what's going on? You know, why they ain't come get me? Well, it, it, is my tribe still lost? We don't even know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> we still um going off family and things like that. So, but it had me thinking though, guys. Yes, it had me thinking. I was so curious, like, wow. No. I remember years ago this guy came to me and um and made me this. Hold on, let me show it to you. Hold on. Okay, guys, so yeah, he came to me years ago, made me this before. Yes. He said, this is for me. And I I know what it was. <laughs> I know what it was. I was just like, oh, okay. It says the age of Leo. You know, I am a Leo. This is the name right here, artist. Yeah, he made this for me. It says Akbar, I think that's what that say. I'm not sure, but yeah, he made me this. And I was like, wow. And come look at it. It looked like a, I don't know. Like, what that look like? A, a lion? Yeah. That's what I thought it was. That's a lion. So, but maybe he was part of my tribe, huh? I don't know. He didn't tell me anything. Maybe he, you got to be more specific to some of us because some of us, we, you know, we don't catch on quick. like, <laughs> We may be bright and intelligent, you know, and probably awesome people, but some things, you know, you got to, you got to, um, say it out plainly, you know what I'm saying? So we can understand. So we'll know, whatever. I don't know. Well, maybe he was just trying to give me a hint, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, everybody's going over these tribes and you got to be careful because if you having babies by someone who's not a part of your, your DNA or people like you. Your children could come out, you know, sickly and you know, things like that, or have different kinds of deficiencies, and and you don't want that. Well, I mean, I feel like no child should has to go through that, and we need to be more aware of that and have knowledge of that, you know, so we can make sure we have children that don't have to worry about 
different kinds of ailments and things like that. They be at their um, full capacity. They be 100%, you know what I'm saying? Healthy and well and and great, you know. And then I started thinking, well, maybe that's why some people seem like they're not, like, accepted sometimes because maybe they're from different tribes and they have different DNA or different gene pool. And some people just don't like them type of people, you know. Maybe that goes stems back all the way back into time, you know. And it's still going on to the day, you know. Yeah, I was saying to myself, well, I got to find out what tribe I'm from. Shoot. I mean, I don't think I'm having any more children, but you never know. <laughs> I just may want to get married and start a whole new family, you know. I raised one family, you know, children, this and that. You never know. Maybe this guy who's from my tribe is looking for me. Like, yes, we need to be together and procreate and make more of us. Yeah. You're strong in numbers, right? That's what I always do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, people, yes. I was thinking, I said, wow, I said, you know, this really opens up a lot, you know, even like when, um, you know, when people are going, and, and you know what I was thinking? I said, well, did this person, do these people know that they're not part of this certain people tribe or a certain people, um, like DNA or they're not the same people and they still trying to have children with these people and, and knowing that their children may have a deficiency? Hmm. Just to make a, a group of people um, weaker than, than, than other groups of people? You know, like to taint their bloodline. Because just think, if, if it's one bloodline that's not as strong as another bloodline, that other bloodline will be kind of, hmm, I ain't going to say the word, begins with a J. Mm -hmm, that J word. Yeah, and be like, yeah, well, let's do something to their bloodline. Let's mix it with this one. And, you know, because they don't know. They probably didn't know and just say, yeah, so, so they can become weak. So their bloodline become weak, and then our bloodline will be superior. You never know. Look, I look. You never know how people think. You gotta think about that. So you gotta be careful about who you making these babies with, y'all. You don't wanna, you know, water down your bloodline or make it not. And say if you had a real strong bloodline, strong gene, strong DNA, you are invincible. And then these people come along and wanna. You have all these children by this man that you think is just the same as on your level, the same person as you, but he's not. He's actually from a weaker version of a humanoid or whatever you want to call them. And they trying to get procreate with you. And listen, listen. And then you got all these children who's sickly. And you're not supposed to. And you still love them, but you like saying to yourself, well, why are they going through these things? Well, they shouldn't be having all these elements and stuff like that. Because you done had a baby by somebody who's not of you. And they, yes, that's what they saying. I don't know how true this is, girl. Oh, boy, look. Let me tell you something. I'm just going with the flow of things. I'm just uh, These are thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That I just was thinking about. I said, dang, that, this could be really deep. You know what I'm saying? You talking about, like, people with wars and guns? No, that's a different kind of war. Yes. Let's water down their whole bloodline and, and, you know, just screw it. You never know. That's what they could be trying to do. They could probably, yeah. So y'all got to be mindful. Dang. You got to find out who your tribe is, what kind of people you are, what kind of DNA you got, what kind of genes you got, where your people at. You know what I'm saying? It's like you that got the same makeup as you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. This is deep stuff, guys. You know, I never, you know, I never, never thought about it that way, but, mm-hmm. This, this is something that you need to really think about and say to yourself, hmm. Because you see, some people just be with their own. You see, I, 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 do you recognize it? I don't recognize it. Like some people just really just be with their own. They don't be letting anybody, in, outsiders in. You know? And I'm saying to myself, and wait. But it's like one group of people, they be just have babies with all types of people. 
Yes, we're like just procreating, getting into relationships, and we're just so maybe it's because maybe could all these people come from these certain people and broken off and then just started staying with themselves so they keep themselves like so they could be strong and, and just been like I said, been um, marrying cousins and things like that. I look, and sometimes like the wealthy do it too to keep the wealth. In the family, they like marry cousins and this, this, and that. So that bloodline, they say, can say pure. Hmm. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. I be hearing it. Let me say something. I be hearing it. I be peeping stuff sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't speak on it, you know? But I say, I'm going to speak on this today because this is, this is important. I'm starting to believe that this is important. Very, very important. You know what I'm saying? And uh and I just I just had to come to y'all with this today. I don't know what y'all think. Huh? It, am I am I in, heading in the right direction or or no? I, I'm I'm thinking I'm heading in the right direction on this thing, you know? Because it's so funny how we're um I'm labeled with so many things that like they constantly labeling me as as um Indian, as um, black, we all know, African, you know what I'm saying, Native American, you know what I'm saying, they give us so many names, um, Asiatic, you know what I'm saying, it's like so many, you know, things, and I think it's, it's really just to keep us goddamn confused, that's what I'm starting to believe, because, you know, mm, how would you know, like, where, where, where would you know, where would you know to look to see exactly who you are, and what tribe you belong to? You know what I'm saying? They were saying, yeah, you need to find your tribe. I hear them saying it all the time. It's like a um, slap in the face. Like, yeah, go find your tribe. Like, well, where, where do I begin? Where do I start? How how would I know? You know, how would I know where to go or to start or get this information? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They had this thing where they had the Ancestry.com and stuff going on. And, you know what I'm saying? People was doing that. But I don't think that, that stuff was true. You know what I'm saying? I think they was telling people what they wanted to tell them just off their features. Because they said they couldn't really figure out your stuff from your saliva. They had to have your blood. Look, I don't know how true the stuff is, but I just started thinking. Like, it had me thinking like, hmm, what's going on here? Let's think about this, you know. And it's very, very important that we find out who... What tribe he belongs to. Yeah, you ain't go find your tribe, they were saying. And hopefully they accept you. You know, some of these tribes are so bougie, they go, oh, they probably don't really accept people that they know is part of their tribe because they feel as though they probably not on their level or they've been watered down. Mm. With other types of DNAs and peoples and genes. Isn't that something? So what do you do knowing that? Like, if your tribe that you were from, and maybe you're from different tribes maybe you got a different tribes made up and you became this super being and then they like oh no you're not pure blood so you can't be a part of this tribe mm, go look at that tribe over there and if that happens hmm, can you create your own tribe you know if you're not accepted from the tribes that that's, that's in your makeup you know say if you from two different tribes where, where do you fit in that? Because one tribe say, oh, no, you're not pure blood, so you can't be a part of this tribe. And this tribe say, oh, no, you're not pure blood on a red tribe, so you can't be a part of our tribe. You have to make your own tribe and get all the mixed pure, all the, the mixed bloods. You know, because I started thinking about the originals. Remember that they took TV show about originals? And they was like the originals, but some of them was mixed with, Klaus was mixed with, mixed with the werewolf and, and the, um, the vampire, but the dad didn't like Klaus because he knew that he wasn't really the fully vampire. There wasn't the son. He was some from somebody else's, and he was the, the vamp like that, like that. And they tried to, you know, really didn't really try to ex him out of there because of because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe that's also the case. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. Mm, shakes mm, mm, makes me say. Hmm. I guess if the people find out that they're more than one tribe and they have more than one tribe in them, what 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 would they do? What what tribe would accept them? And if they don't, yeah, I think maybe they will have to create um get the people who's also like a a, a mixed breed 
and come together and create a tribe of their own. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so, slash, so, and so, slash, so, and so, slash, and, like, make get all the little, um, maybe two, three letters out of each tribe and create a new tribe, a, a new name for this tribe and say, yeah, this is this tribe. You know, like, like back in the day, they used to have, like, mulattoes and this and that. I don't know if this was even true, Bobo. You know what I'm saying? They come up with a lot of stuff, but maybe something like that or, hmm, Creole. I guess that's another tribe that's mixed with two different Two different tribes came together and made this Creole person, and that's why they call Creole. Maybe, mm, am I am I touching the right thing here? Am I in the right vicinity with this? Yeah, yeah. And that's why they used to say a long time ago that mixing was not good. Remember that? Remember they were saying you got to stay with your own kind of stuff? I remember my dad told me that, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't take heed to it. I seen people, guys, that I found them attractive. Ooh. You know how it is when you're young. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how much they tell you. You have to be able to take heed to it. You know what I'm saying? People can tell you all day. And if you ain't got the mind, the mind or the comprehension to, to grasp exactly what they're trying to tell you and say, or you ain't paying no mind, then you won't get it. You know what I'm saying? You're lost in the sauce. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'm, 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 I think I'm, I'm, I'm in the right, I'm on the right path here with this thing. So, yeah, so, and I'm thinking that's why when you're in families, you ever been in a family and some families treat some family members different than other family members? And I'm thinking maybe that's why, because of tribe and blood. Mmm, how pure, are you a pure blood? Are you an original? Hmm. Maybe that's why. Yeah, because I be seeing certain stuff going on in families, and I be saying to myself, wait a minute. Why is this is that way with them and this is that way with them? Mm. Because, and say like if a, a, a mother had a first husband, had children, and then, you know, then um, that didn't work out, got, you know, divorced and found a new husband and had children. You know what I'm saying? It's always seemed like it's some kind of a clash between them children. Like, oh, I'm from the first daddy. I'm the first. I'm we, we the first ones. Yeah. Oh, you you know, or the ones like, oh yeah, but well, we we the ones who um held the day, and we the one, we the last ones, so the last ones who come in is ruling. You know what I'm saying? You you know, you know what I'm saying? It's always been like that. No, we are ready. And then doing family unions, what name are we going to choose? You know what I'm saying? Are we going to choose the first name, the, the first husband, or we going to choose the second name? Saying, oh no, no, we just going to go all the way to the top to her to her father's name, so nobody name won't because <laughs> that's the. <laughs> No name. I don't know. Are y'all y'all feeling me where I'm coming from? I don't know. I don't know. But I had to talk about this, guys. But yeah, yeah. This is a topic, guys. This is um. This is an interesting. This is very interesting. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's why some people used to have attitudes when you have children from certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember um. Just I used to hear guys talking about it all the time, like. You know, like you know, that's why they, that's why they frown on having multiple baby daddies and things like that because you need to get with the guy who supposed you supposed to be with. Now, say you got a maybe you even have a a certain person you were supposed to be with because y'all DNA was perfect and y'all was compatible. Like, like that was your mate. Like that person was created for you especially because that's your that's your mate who you supposed to procreate with. So your bloodline will stay strong. I'm thinking we need to start, um, if that's true, we really need to start, um, um, letting these women, these ladies know and these little boys know at a very young age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. But then it got me curious because you know how these old men would, you know, get these young girls and have them as wives too? And then take them as wives and start having a bit, having families with them after they done had like two or three other wives through time and have created children. Children, but then these little boys who's supposed to have been with these girls, they be lost in the sauce. They like they running around just making babies everywhere because you don't took their mate that they were supposed to be with, and um and and procreate with. It's this deep. It's deep. You never know. You never know. It's deep. It's deep. Very, very deep. I was just thinking about it, guys. Hey, sometimes your mind just start wandering. You start thinking, and I'm thinking maybe that was a, um, yeah, maybe that's, maybe it's true.
All right, guys, I ain't going to look. I ain't even do my makeup, but yeah, because this was just something I just had to, you know, discuss with y'all about, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I was so curious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was very, very curious about this. This thing really, like, mm, got me thinking, got me wondering. Like, hmm. You know? All right, guys. Well, I guess that was it. Yep. That's all I had to say. And peace. And oh, and you know what else? I would like to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel, who like and comment on my videos. It's appreciated. All right. Mwah. Love you.